Heck yeah, today we are fighting capitalism and climate change with a $12 manual washing machine. For this project, you will need three five gallon buckets and a half inch drilly bit thing. And you're just gonna take one of those buckets and put a bunch of holes in it. I'm making these for our upcoming van life and boondocking, so we have a way to do laundry out into the wilderness. So we're gonna go ahead and make these holes all the way around. You wanna drill nice and slow so that you don't accidentally crack the bucket. Once you have holes drilled up to about three quarters of the way through to the top of the bucket, then we're going to, in our non-holy bucket, add some water and some soap. I'm using this uh, Dr. Bonner's Castile soap, which is pet safe, biodegradable, all that good stuff. The cats had no reaction to it, which is great. They could care less. The cats have very sensitive noses, so we wanna be careful with what we use around them. I'm then gonna fill up the bucket with the holes in it with my laundry. Because I'm such a total minimalist, this fit like half of my wardrobe in one bucket. So I did have to do two loads today. Not a big deal though. We submerge one bucket in the other and then we gotta squeeze it down. Uh, you can use a plunger for this. You can use a stick for this. I found that the best tool we had was actually a piece of workout equipment called a mace because it was nice and heavy and made the squishing of the clothes nice and easy. In any case, you wanna agitate for about three minutes, mushing it around here. I did find on this first load, I used too much soap. I was very pepperminty, but that's okay. Nice and fresh. We took the uh, one bucket out of the soapy water and went and submerged it into the rinse bucket. So you take right from your washi bucket into your rinsey bucket, and then we smash it around for about another three minutes in that bucket. From there, we can dump our rinse water and squish out the excess water in our clothes. We can either do a twisty kind of a number like this to get the excess water out, or you can use the other bucket. I found this worked way better. Just squish it down nice and tight, and then flip the clothes around and squish it again. This got most of the excess water out, and then I just gave it a little hand ring before hanging it up to dry. Fortunately, it was a beautiful, dry, sunny day, so easy day to dry laundry. The clothes came out really nice, uh, clean, fresh smelling, a little too pe pepperminty, but next time I'll use less of that soap. And I ended up making two buckets, one for myself and one for my spouse so that we can both do laundry together at the same time and it'll double as our laundry hamper. 